change your state, change your mind. What up, it's D, and envision you're on a contest show. And your role on this show is to guess what is behind curtain number one and what is behind curtain number two correctly. Now, you're given a clue. Behind curtain number one is a depressed person. And behind curtain number two is a professional public speaker. And your role is to correctly label their body language, their breath, and their voice. And I know right now, you know you can win this competition. Because we know what they both look like. The professional public speaker, palms forward, shoulders back, breathing quite deeply, has quite a commanding yet powerful voice. The depressed participant, their shoulders would be forward, their head would be slump, and they'd probably be speaking quite softly or mumbly. Now, I ask you this because, for one thing, I've been both these people. And I know what it feels like to be in those states. And what I learned through psychology is our brains and our bodies are very interconnected. And it's almost 50-50 on who's in control. Does your body tell your brain what to do or does your brain tell your body what to do? What are we doing? Now, I share this with you because if we change our state, if we change our body, we can change our thinking. We cannot create or express ourselves or be creative geniuses if we're in a disempowered state, if we feel like shit, if we're stressed out, if we're not looking after ourselves. So the first part of this is shift your state. You know the basics, exercise, go for walks, go for runs, lift some heavy things, do some yoga, eat nutritionally, those are the basics. But what about the micro things? The micro moments we can change to shift our state in a moment and create. We'll start with our body because that is the biggest and one of the most powerful ones we can do. So if you, wherever you are, stand up and ground your feet. Really solidly stand on your feet and feel it. I want you to pull your hips forward, push your shoulders back and your palms forward. You feel better? If you lift your head and just hold it for a moment. Our brains, our unconscious brains, don't know the difference between a forcefully held stance and a real stance. Like a forcefully held stance, like I'm about to have a fight, versus I'm actually about to have a fight. Or cathartic in a ball versus fake catharticism in a ball. Your brain doesn't know the difference. So we can drastically change the neurochemical flows in our brains by just changing our body. Fun fact, if you pull a fake smile for three minutes, you'll get the same beautiful dopamine, pleasurable chemicals in your brain released as if it were real. So really, you can completely change your mood with just some intention and some attention to where your body is. When you're feeling slump in the afternoon, you may feel you start creeping on your desk and start leaning forward. Lean back. Breathe in. Which leads me to the second thing. We're all breathing wrong. Breathe deeply through your nose and you'll dramatically increase your energy and your vitality. The number one way to get more energy and to change your state is your breath. And the biggest part of our lungs is in the bottom. And when we're all stressed and tight and trying to worry about what we're doing, what we're creating, we're breathing shallow. We're breathing up here. <sighs> if you can control your breath, you can control your state. So breathe deep, breathe slow, be confident in your breathing with your lean back body language and your fake smile. Now, this is just some micro adjustments. These are some micro things we can do to just simply change our states in a moment. And my partner always thinks something's wrong because now and then I just go <sighs> and I know I'm just catching myself not breathing properly and getting myself back in alignment. So I know I can create more, be in flow and be more energetic. So we've got our bodies, we've got our breath. And now I want to get into your mind. 
Harvard University and partnered with Dave Asprey, who's a famous biohacker, and they wanted to understand how they could self-create these things called alpha brainwaves. Now, long story short about alpha brainwaves is they are basically creativity. They are the brainwaves that are firing, that are flowing when we're in our creative flow, we're in that state, we're in that just everything's easy and flowing. And what they did is they put some of the top performers from Vasheen to Dave and other people in his group into MRI machines and asked them to meditate. And when they were meditating, they were all thought about particular different things, trying to isolate what could trigger these alpha brainwaves. And they found two primary things that would always trigger these alpha brainwaves every time. And I urge you to practice meditation and perhaps implement one of two of these into a practice at least once a week to get in that state and daily if you're a pro. Now there's two. The second one and the most powerful, the second most powerful, is gratitude. Be grateful for everything around you because what we appreciate appreciates. And things in motion stay in motion and all that beautiful jargon I can throw at this nation to just really hone in the power of this. If you're grateful for everything you've ever created, every idea you've ever done, everything that's ever inspired you or everything, every moment in your life, you'll just want more of that and you'll create more of that. It's powerful. I urge you to practice it. And now the second most powerful, the first most powerful, wow, is forgiveness. Now, forgive and you'll get in that alpha state. Forgive yourself for not committing to your morning routine. Forgive yourself for having a messy draft or whatever it is. Forgive those deep, deep past memory things that are holding you back. If you can forgive, you can forget. And if you can forget, you can create. Shift your mind into that alpha brainwave and you can create flow with ease and grace. Change your state. The last one, and probably one of my favorites, is crank some tunes. Get in motion. Energy in our emotions is just energy in motion, right? So if we can move our bodies, we can move our state even more. So I encourage you, before you sit down at your desk, just crank some tunes and just have a little wiggle. I was thinking about the other day at the gym, I was like, do you think it's me Listening to music, actually exercising, or the little dance moves I do between exercising that's having the most effect. I encourage you to crank some music, shift your state, shift your being. You are what you listen to. So crank the good beats. I'm, I'm all about that house. I love that house vibes. So what have we learned in shifting your shape, state to shift your mindset? Body language is monumentously powerful. The two millimeters between uncertainty and certainty. Shoulders back, palms forward, chest up. Breathe deep into your belly through your nose and you'll get energized vitality and power. Cheeky fake smile if you want as well to level it up. Meditate. Get into that state of gratitude and forgiveness and visualize your future and all will be in existence. And then finally, crank some tunes, enjoy yourself, be human, move your body, change your state, change your environment, and you will change your mind. You'll create more, you'll be more, and you'll create the change we all seek to see in the world. Go change your state. Love your work deep.